Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to present you Blogger alternatives that you can use for creating your own website. Blogger is a good way how you can write blogs, but it's kind of limited what you can actually achieve with it. Now, I will be talking about advantages and disadvantages of sites that I'm going to show you. Now, the first one that I present to you as a Blogger alternative is Wix. Maybe you heard about it, maybe you didn't, but Wix is a really great uh, website builder that you can use for creating your own website. And it can help you uh, create an amazing website. What I really like about Wix is that it's like, okay, you can create it for free, first thing. And the second thing is that you can easily move all the elements as much as you want. So you come and take the element and you can move it. So if you like to play around with your website, it's a great way how you can uh, build a website. Now, there is a disadvantage with Wix is the responsibility. is what you can actually achieve with Wix. Um, is like kind of not that great from the SEO perspective from the Google. So if you want to write plenty of articles, I don't know if I would be recommending Wix. I would recommend definitely Wix if you want to create presentation website for business or something like that. In that way, Wix is really good. But other than that, I don't know uh, if I would be using Wix if I want to just write plenty of articles. So Wix is the first um, competition or first alternative that you can check out. Now the next one is Weebly. Weebly is a good option and what you can achieve with it and uh, what kind of things you can do. You can simply create when you come here to the pricing plans, you can simply create good presentation website and you can write articles on it and you see the free basic use. So you can use it and even all the other plans are pretty cheap. So Weebly is another competition that you can definitely check out. Now the next one that I prepared for you is Cardco. Cardco is a good website builder that you can build one page size for pretty much anything. And I would definitely recommend Cardco if you just want to uh, create good websites. So this is another one that you can create with. Uh, the next one I prepared for you is a Squarespace. Squarespace on one hand is pretty great only because how amazing websites you can create. You can write articles on it. You can simply click here, add a section. So I'm going to add this section here and I can click here, click plus, and I can add text, button, plenty of uh, elements. So that's something you can definitely do and definitely try to do. It works all based on elements. So Squarespace is a good website if you want to go bigger. And the last one that I prepared for you is Elementor. Elementor is an option with WordPress. So WordPress is a, let's say, I would say open source system that in which you can build your own website. All you have to pay is a domain and web hosting, and then you can create amazing websites. When you come here to the Elementor, uh, what you can do, as you can see, it's again working based on uh, it works based on sections and you can pretty much play around it as much as you want. So that's pretty good. And I would definitely recommend checking it out if you want to build an amazing website. So this is pretty much it. I mean, these are the alternatives that I would recommend for you to use if you want to like switch from Blogger to something else. Wix, to summarize it, Wix is a good option, but there is a limitation that if you want to write plenty of articles, I wouldn't choose Wix. I would choose Wix if you really want to play around with your website. Then we have Weebly here. Weebly is a good option that you can write articles to. You're going to see the like websites here, what you can create with it. You can even create your own online store. Then we have Card. Cardco is a good option if you want to create your own uh, blogging, like no one page site. And Squarespace is good if you want to create a presentation website and if you want to start writing articles. And Elementor is another option what you can do. So this is pretty much it. If you can have any questions, ask me down in the comments. I'm really happy to help and provide you some guidance. And have a great day and goodbye. See ya.